Hello, my name is John Broxton, and on behalf of the International Film Music Critics Association, I'm very pleased to pre present the 2017 IFMCA Award for Breakthrough Composer of the Year to George Callis. Congratulations. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very grateful for this award. Thank you so much to the IFMCA, um, and even being nominated uh, among such untalented and exquisite uh, group of composers is, is truly an honor. Um, I'd also like to thank the FMCA in general for the support, the dedication and the promotion that they do for soundtracks in general because uh, you know they understand the complexities that composers face and uh, really support our work, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, and lastly, uh, just a shout out to my team over the last year for the hard work in getting four scores done and really working through really hectic schedules and bearing with me as well. So thank you very much. So George, many congratulations again for, for the victory. Um, could you talk a little bit about your, your background, um, you know, going from, from Cyprus to, to London to here? Because you know, I think m most people probably won't know your story yet. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, um, I grew up in Cyprus. I started uh, taking uh, violin lessons and piano lessons as a uh, as a child, I would say, and um, when I hit my teens, um, I kind of uh, uh, went into a heavy metal stage. So I started playing bass and guitar and, and wanting to be a rock star, <laughs> kind of a thing. Um, somehow, though, um, uh, through songwriting, I started uh, doing a lot of songwriting. Uh, I went back into composition and in writing songs and, and writing my own instrumentals. Um, and um, I convinced my parents that I wanted to study music um, and um, uh, I went to Berkeley uh, College of Music in Boston I, I did a, a dual degree in uh, film music and uh, composition and then uh, followed that with a master's at the Royal College of Music at the RCM um, during that period I was also a lot of you know European uh, guys might know the Eurovision Song Contest, so I wrote the European, the, the song for uh, Cyprus in 1999, which was a fun thing to do, I suppose. And then, um, um, right after my master's, um, I was um, given the opportunity to work as a composer's assistant uh, with uh, composer Guy Mitchellmore. Um, Guy does a lot of uh, uh, Marvel um, uh, uh, animation and um, fantastic composer. Uh, so I worked with Guy for a while and uh, learned a lot of things from him and uh, I got my first break in 2005 with a film called Joy Division uh, and uh, yeah, uh, since then I've been very lucky to, to write film music which was an amazing thing, it's an amazing thing to do. So, and so this year has been an especially good year for you I think with, with three scores. Um, you had Albion the Last Stallion and The Black Prince and then the Russian film The Last Warrior. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about those three films? And we'll start with start with Albion. Um, sure. What was your approach to that? How did you get the film? And can you talk a bit sure. About well, um, a common friend with the producer introduced us, um, and I just received a random email saying uh, we're doing this film. Uh, we have uh, John Cleese and uh, Deborah Messing and Jennifer Morrison starring. It's a uh, um, a children's adventure uh, story, and uh, they they described, uh, you know, they gave me the synopsis basically, and I uh, was uh, really really interested because it's the type of music I really love to do, like uh, uh, sci-fi, sci fantasy, a, a drama, um, and uh, it all started from there. Um, actually, the first thing I had to do was compose a song because there's a uh, a specific scene where the actors had to actually visually sing. A song, so um, the song actually developed into the main theme, which was actually really fun right. uh, to do. So uh, that's how Albion started. Right. And then Black Prince is very different. That's a much more serious film. Mm -hmm. um, influences from Indian music. Sure, um, sure. That must have been a, an exciting genre too. It, it, it was very exciting. Uh, I've been in touch with Kavi Raz, the director, for a while, um, and we were always talking about like you know doing a, a, a movie together. And when the Black Prince came, um, Kavi said, well, we have an, an executive producer that wants to hear from a few composers. And so they kind of sent me two scenes to score. And, um, you know, um, I, I scored them and they really kind of liked what I did. So that's how I basically got the commission uh, to, to compose the music. And it was very, very interesting because it was a mixture of, 
you know, like a pure drama orchestral type of music, you know, thematic and with, with some solo instruments as well, but also with use of northern Indian instruments like sarangi. And uh, we were also lucky to have the uh, protagonist who is a superstar in India. He's a fantastic um, folk, Indian folk um, singer. And he actually came in the studio and we recorded some ad-libs together and it was a, a joy to work with him. Uh, Sartash, his name is. Yeah. And, uh, and then the last four year is Russian Disney. Yes, that, that, that was <laughs> crazy. Um, basically that resulted from um, um, a recommendation by uh, another producer that I worked with before, uh, uh, that we did uh, Gagarin, uh, First in Space. Right. Uh, I still had to uh, actually go through a, um, a pitching process with other composers. Um, so they, the director, uh, Dmitry Dalchenko, he actually sent me two scenes, uh, the opening, and uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it was towards the end, some of the battle scenes as well. So I, you know, I, I turned them around and then like a week later, they, they just came back saying, you know, we love your work and we'd love to work with you. So it was, it was yeah, my first Disney uh, credit, which was an amazing feeling as well, because I'm a big fan from a um, very young age. <laughs> and of course that style of music, I mean, you know, the huge themes, you got the huge battle sequences, really, you know, stretch your composing. Yeah, it was it was uh, a very exciting to work, uh, you know, on the the movie because there's a lot of kind of very big open cinematography and a lot of battle sequences, and um, uh, the director as well was pushing me to go even kind of more crazier and more colorful with the orchestrations as well, which was great, and we had a fantastic orchestra that we recorded in Moscow, but also the choir, like the, the choir made the whole difference because especially the, the Russian basses and the tenors, I mean, they really make the difference. Uh, so it was it was a great opportunity to, to work with that team. So. Well, the things I, I find agree. really interesting about you is that um, you work on a lot of international films. I mean, just the three this year, you had, you had a Russian film, you had a British film, you worked on 93 Days, which I think was a Nigerian, a Nigerian film. UK production, yeah. yes. Um, and then of course Gagarin was Russian. Mm -hmm. is, is that something that you seek out? Like, do you, do you intentionally try to go for world projects, or is that just what? <laughs> I think it just happened. I mean, I do enjoy them because you can actually uh, put a twist into a kind of a more generic approach, I would say, because you can use all these different colors that come from all these different countries. and. You know, of course, growing up in Cyprus, I was immersed into this kind of international type of music, which is, you know, Cyprus is, you know, geographically between East and West. So uh, a lot of influences come from, you know, uh, you know, the Middle East, but also from the West as well. So in a way, I'm used to that mixing different colors together and I, I find it more exciting as well. And then the next film is Cliffs of Freedom. Can yes. you talk a little bit? Sure, that? of course. Uh, Cliffs of Freedom is especially close to me because it deals with the um, uh, Greek War of Independence, um, and um, it was uh, great to work with director Van Ling. Van Ling was uh, the head of VFX um, of Jim Cameron's company, uh, so he did um, Titanic, um, The Abyss. He did very big films, and it was his dire uh, directorial uh, debut as well. Um, and um, um, it was produced by um, Marianne Metropolis and Dean Metropolis. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we had a, a very beefy orchestra as well and a very beefy choir. Um, and we recorded in Budapest um, and a few months ago. And uh, we're actually still kind of doing the final uh, touches for the soundtrack. So I'm, I'm very excited to kind of, uh, you know, for the release as well. Right. Well, thank you very much. Um, continued success and congratulations again on the, on the win. Thank you. Thank you very much.